Hello, I want to show you a functional prototype of an alternative Visual Studio extension gallery that I built for myself to host all the nightly builds of all my various different extensions. And we can see it's actually live and it's uh, on v6gallery.com. And we can see here a list of all my extensions um, that are also on the Visual Studio gallery. So, you know, I can browse uh, extension by author. I can even uh, search here in real time and I can go in and see the details uh, about a uh, um, specific extension here, Web Essentials for instance. And um, I have links to source code on GitHub and to my issue tracker so people really easily can uh, uh, open issues and contribute to the project here on GitHub. Of course you can also just download the extension right here. Uh, and it's just the V6 I will just install into Visual Studio. But you can also get a feed or a nightly feed um, specifically for this one extension. Um, you can get the feeds for um, you know a specific user. So all extensions by this, uh, not user but author, or just all extensions in general that are hosted here on this website. You can get this feed. And what's really nice is that in Visual Studio if we go to extension and updates and uh, oh, first let's actually go to tools options and we can see here the if you add that feed as I've done right here um, they will now show up in extension and updates so all my extensions now show up here it will show that I have updates I can choose to opt in to um, and get the nightly builds of the various different extensions that I'm using. So that's really nice. I don't have to install uh, all of them, just the ones that I care about. And so that's why I can customize the feed. Now, let's take a look at the workflow here of how this website actually works, because it's all automated. So let's say I want to make a change in my source code. This is the Visual Stu uh, sorry, the Web Essentials uh, source code here. Uh, for the Web Essentials extension. I made a, a change in the code here, and now I'm just going to committed to GitHub. Um, so license update. And I'm going to push this immediately up. And now if we go to the Web Essentials uh, repo right here on GitHub, we can see that we now have the right year, the, the change I just made. And also, I'm, gonna, I'm using something called Advair. And here you see a list of uh, a lot of different open source projects that I have. I'm using Advair as my CI server, as my build server. And notice here how Advair already noticed that I made a change on GitHub and the commit message was license update. So now it has queued my build and it will build Web Essentials right now. Now I'm using the free version of Advair which is free for open source projects and so it can take a while sometimes for uh, like a couple of minutes before uh, the build kicks off. So I'm just going to fast forward in time here. So now the build has completed on Advair uh, successfully. It's green right here. And we can see some of the customizations that my custom build script have done. So first of all, it updates the version of the V6 itself, the extension, with the build number of uh, Advair here. So this is build number 22. And um, it's also updating the the actual build number over here on Advair to be that that matches the, the V6 itself. And then it's building and we see all the output from MS Build. And then at the end here, we can see it publishes to the V6 gallery. And that's this website. So this was built 0.2.22. So now if we go in here and we hit refresh, we can see that we now have the latest build. It's all automated. And it's a really great way for me to share the nightly builds of all my extensions with any interested uh, Visual Studio user. And the cool thing about it is that how this works is that all I need to do as an extension author is to add a single file to my project, Advair YAML, to control Advair, uh, my build server. And it downloads a PS1 file, a PowerShell file here, that does all of this for me. So even if I were not able to use Advair, let's say I have my own build server, or I don't have one at all, but I'm, you know, I can execute a PowerShell command, I can do all of this no matter what my environment is, and publish uh, automatically to 
uh, the visuals to this V6 gallery uh, of nightly bills. Um, and in, even if I don't want to automate everything, I can do it manually. Just click the upload button. You can select the V6 and upload it. And you can also add like the the source to your GitHub repository or enter your issue tracker, uh, and that will all be shown automatically here on the extension. But if you're using AppVayer, all of this will come in automatically. So as, a, as an extension author, all I have to do is just to add this one file and use AppVayer, which is free to sign up, no credit cards needed or anything. So it's a really, really powerful workflow um, and a nice experience. And the Visual Studio integration with uh, the feeds are is just absolutely amazing. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and that this uh, might inspire you. So thank you very much for watching.